So you're in this relationship and it starts off so amazing. You know what, they even say that you're they're your soulmates and then it all goes wrong. And you're left wondering, actually, why has it all gone wrong? What has happened? What have I done to deserve this? And then the discard happens. This is what happens next. Watch the video. Hello everyone, I hope that you're all doing really well. So in today's video, we're talking about the discard. The final phase of a narcissistic relationship. Because you know why? Because the narcissist makes that choice. They discard, they just get rid of you. Like you meant nothing. Like you were absolutely nothing to them. You gave your heart and your soul to this person and they just get rid of you. But you know what? That isn't the final stage of the relationship. I'm gonna talk all about this in the video. So guys, let's talk about the discard and actually what it means. The discard, all right, is like a long silent treatment. It is something that the narcissist does because they don't want to take responsibility for their actions. They're not interested in explaining anything to you. They're not interested in providing you an answer. They're also not interested in how you feel because in their minds, you have disappointed them in some way. Do you know why? Because you didn't do what they wanted you to do. So you weren't conforming. You weren't doing what you were supposed to do like a good little human. You know, you didn't do what you were supposed to do. So that's why they're thinking, this can't happen. They need to be taught a lesson. So they discard. It's like the long silent treatment. You know, the difference between the silent treatment and the discard, well, actually, the only, <laughs> There isn't much of a difference because in both cases, they remove all communication, they remove all of their attention from you and they just go, don't they? They just go. And you're thinking, and then you're thinking, hold on a minute. What, what, what's happened? What's happened here? Like, I, you're just confused. You're just like, what's, what's happened here? But you see, the thing is, we are made to believe that the discard is the final phase. We are made to believe that it's our fault, that we have disappointed the narcissist in some way. So that's why it leaves us scrambling around for answers. But if you take a step back and really think about it, we haven't done any of those things, but we are made to perceive that that has actually happened. We are made to look like we are the fool. We're the ones that are missing out on something. And this is, you know, the trauma bond has already been created. It's already there in place. So this is why you're craving the narcissist. You're craving them, you want their answers, you want their attention. But none of this is true because you're perceiving that you want this. The narcissist, what's happening for them is they have gone on to some other person. They're putting all their attention into them. And that is really hurtful. Like what they are doing really cuts deep. But it's not even about that. Because in many of my videos, I talk about the attachment disorder that they've actually got. And they don't attach to someone in a healthy way, but they also don't detach from someone in a healthy way. So what that means is that they are going to be back. Yes, they are going to be back. That's why the discard isn't the final stage. They're gonna be back. And the reason why they are going to be back is because they are going to want your attention. Now, this is all about whether you are going to give them your attention, whether you're gonna provide them some emotional validity, or whether you are gonna put a stop to this and think, I don't need this in my life. I don't need to be giving them any more than I already have. The narcissist makes us believe that everything that goes wrong in the relationship is your fault. So that's why they make us believe that because it's our fault, they have to leave and we have to fix this in some way. But that's the trick. That 
it's the illusion that they create. So when you're looking for those answers after the discard, that's what they'll say. They'll say that it's your fault that you've made them do it and that they had to leave because you have disappointed them. And that's what they're actually saying to you. The things that I have kind of mentioned in this video, they're blaming you and it's something that they create this kind of illusion, this lie in their mind and they believe it, which is why they then project it onto us and we start to believe it. So we're scrambling around trying to make this relationship work or trying to, trying to understand it, make sense of it, all the while we're also feeling the trauma bond as well, which keeps us stuck in this loop. The narcissist doesn't move on. Like if you had moved on, then you're not gonna be watching your exes. You're not gonna keep, be keeping in contact with your exes. If they have moved on, then you're, you know, like you're concentrating on the new person. And also how can someone move on in such a short space of time? Like that is impossible because in a healthy relationship or healthy people, what, what we're actually doing is trying to make sense of the breakup. We're trying to make sense of, you know, what's happened, you know, um, perhaps maybe, you know, you'd get closure. You'd understand why you are all in this situation. But the narcissist doesn't need any of that. They don't want to take responsibility for their actions, for their behavior. They don't want to provide any answers because it's better if they don't take responsibility because they can get out of this so much easier and then move on and then concentrate on getting their needs met because they need the emotional validity. They need the attention. That's what they're doing. But it leaves you thinking that somehow this is all of your fault. And it's not, it's not anything that you have done. This, this whole scenario, this whole experience has been toxic and you wouldn't be in this situation if that person actually really valued you, if they respected you, they trusted you and they wanted the best for you. You wouldn't be here looking for these answers because in a healthy relationship, two people talk to one another. You know, you both know where you are. You know, you're both on the same page because that's how relationships work, but not for a narcissist. And how is it that the discard, like when they get rid of you, that isn't the final stage. How can they come back? Because if, if you have had this relationship, if you have, you know, worked through this and understand that the two of you don't work together, why are you coming back? What are you coming back for? So that's, that's where it becomes really unhealthy because it isn't healthy. That's the thing, you, you don't go back. Why do you have like literally every single one of your exes on your phone? Why are you keeping in contact? Why are you watching them? That's why it's toxic because healthy people don't behave in this way. So the discard is never going to be the final phase. They are always gonna come back if if you allow them to, you will get to a stage where you will realize this and you will understand that what you have been through has been really traumatizing, has been really abusive, and that they have taken more than what you were willing to give that person. And it's been taken from you by force. It's not something that you wanted to do. It's something that has been taken that you weren't willing to give. And this will make you really upset. This will, but it will also make you realize that this isn't a healthy relationship. This isn't a healthy experience to have this person in your life. This is why going no contact, removing all communication to give you the headspace to be able to work this out, to be able to help you to process your emotions, process the experience. When you are constantly traumatized, anxious, you don't have the brain space to think about anything else but what is in front of you. So you become very reactive. You don't respond in a, in, in, in a healthy way, but in a way that is congruent to you. You're just constantly reacting to what is going on. Which is why it's really important for you to take a step back and really direct all of that attention onto yourself and, and the energy onto you, onto you, to try and understand you and how you move forward. It isn't easy because at the time when this is happening to you, you don't realize. Over time when you have the space 
when you have the resources to help you move through this, you will realize that what you have been through is something that is really toxic and you will put a stop to it because you will realize that this isn't what is supposed to happen in relationship. This isn't what this is about. So the discard isn't the final phase for a narcissist, but it really can be for you because it's about you making that decision to whether this person you are gonna allow to come back into your life. It's really your decision. But you need the time and the space to be able to work through it. So guys, I really hope that this video has helped you. I really do. And I know that it isn't easy, this situation. I know that it's really, really hard to go through this. And if you have gone through this and you are out the other side, please leave the comments in the comments section because I know that you guys are so helpful to one another and you know I do go through the comments section and I do read it and I just think it's so amazing to have such a lovely community where you are all so helpful and understanding and so compassionate to one another so I really hope that it does help you know that you will get through this and also I do offer one-to-one -one consultations if you wanted to talk through this please see the description box below I'm also going to be offering a mentorship program which is starting in November again please see the description box for details and join the journal club if you want a supportive community and you want to be able to have an extra tool to be able to help you kind of move through this difficult time that you are facing guys thank you so much for watching the video and I will see you in the next one goodbye